Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Grover, Chief Research Scientist here at Grover Group. And what we're going to do now is do a logistic regression. SPSS Modeler, uh, that's the uh, software that uh, we're using. And as before, uh, we have a model already specified and we plan on replicating this model. So this model consists of the uh, Excel node, again, a type, and the type will be able to um, modify the metadata in the model to use that specific information in our modeling process. We're, uh, we will partition again 70 training, 30 testing, and we'll bring in our logistic regression node. We'll calculate uh, the node and then we'll do some analysis. So let's um, get a new stream going here. And the first thing we want to do is bring in that Excel node. And we're going to be using uh, adult income levels. So what we're trying to do is predict uh, income levels that are less than or equal to 50K or greater than 50K. We use this data on the KNN uh, evaluation as well. So let's bring this in. Adult incomes. Our filters, our types, and we'll read this in. We're going to leave these roles default, and I'll show you how when we change the metadata. That's how we will use that to fit our model. Let's preview the data. All right, so. ID, age, age category, race, sex, hours per week, capital gains, and then this is our dependent variable, income less than or equal to 50K or greater than 50K. So in our model, we will begin with age, race, sex, hours per week, and capital gains. So that's what we'll be uh, interested in. We'll apply this. All right, so the next thing we want to bring node in is the type node. For the type node, we'll set these. So ID is our record ID, so age is good. We don't need age category. We don't need marital status. We don't need relationships. We don't need education, occupation. We don't need that. We'll keep, we'll keep in hours per week, capital gains. Income will become our target and we don't need income GT50. All right, so we'll apply this. And we'll read these in.
All right, so we're going to read it in this way. As before, we just clicked on the read icon. All right. Apply that, and this should do it. Yep. We'll preview this. All right, age. So it brings them all in. And here's our dependent variable. Capital gains, hours per week. Sex, race, and age. All right. Let's take a look at the measurements. Age is continuous. Good. Race and sex. Race is nominal. Sex is flag. Race is nominal. Sex is flag. That's, that's correct. Continuous, continuous. And then flag. I think we're good. Okay. All right, so the next node is going to be partition. All right, double click. 70, 30. Apply that. Next node is going to be the logistic regression modeling. All right, let's take a look at our parameters, our fields, use predefined fields, partition, sex race, binomial, expert. Our cutoff is 0.5, and that should be default. All right. Fields, predefined, model, partition, build, binomial. All right, categorical inputs, enter, sex and race. Apply, okay. Expert. User defined, 0.5. And let's see, analyze. All right, so let's apply this. All right, I think we're ready to go. Predefined, binomial, the constant is included in the equation. Expert, point five cut off. All right. Supply this and give it a whirl. All right, we'll bring our analysis node in. We could have done that before to save us a step. We're going to check these top three output. Apply, and let's check that. Analysis, 
Yep. Alright, that's good. And get rid of all. Alright, so here's our classification. Training 77.92, testing 74.73 for the correct, 22.08 and 25.27 for the uh, wrong or incorrect. Uh, partition training uh, data, uh, these are count 718.47 or less than equal to 50k, etc. These are our testing 316.28, performance evaluation, training and testing, and our evaluation matrix. Metrics. Okay. Let's look at our model. So these are our predictor importance, capital gain, sex, hours per week, age, and race. And we'll look at our summaries and advanced. So, so the, this is our model. 1,037 rows. Dependent variable less than or equal to 50k, 0, greater than 50k, 1. Uh, categorical variable codes. These are race, Asian, black, Indian, other, white, sex, female, male. Classification matrix. Income less than or equal to 50k, 765, greater than 50k, uh, 272. And are predicted. The constant is included in the equation. Variables not in the equation. Age, race, one, two, three, four, six, hours per week, capital gains. Model summary, 916.085. So the variable that was included uh, is the income variable that we're uh, trying to predict. 718 less than equal to 50, 47 greater than 50, and correct percentage 93.9, and then greater than 50, K 182, 90, so 33.1. So the overall percentage of this model classification is 77.9. So the variables in, included in the equation, age, grade, uh, race, one, two, three, four, uh, it partitioned it, sex, uh, one hours per week, capital gains. So the significance of age is significant and the rest of these are not race. So each subcategory of race is not significant. Sex is significant hours per week, capital gains, and the constant significant. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out uh, race, since it's not significant, and we're going to rerun the model. So we'll go back here, let's see, so we'll leave that as it is, and we'll use custom. Target is going to be income. We'll partition that and then we'll use age, sex, hours per week, capital gain. We'll apply this, okay, and leave everything else the same. We'll run it. This time I'm going to calculate the income node and the analysis node. Oh, I thought it would. We'll run it. All right, so. Individual models, training, testing, 78.11, 74.51, 22.08, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27, 25.27,
25, so it's a little different. Uh, counts, testing and training, training and testing, our evaluation, training and testing, and then our evaluation matrix. Let's look at our model. Capital gains, biggest predictor, sex, age, hours per week. All right, 1,037 cases. Dependent variables the same. Sex, female, male. Observed, 765, 272. Variables in the equation are constant. Variables not in the equation. Age, sex, hours per week, capital gains, overall status. Model summary, and let's see what the final model looks like. So the classification, 94% less than equal to 50K, greater than 50K, 33.5. And so these are our final variables uh, in the model. And they're all significant. Age, sex, hours per week, capital gains, and our constant. And that's a wrap. So stay tuned for more SPSS model, modelers uh, simulations and evaluations. And talk to you later. Thank you.